Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. You're watching Fontech. So, we created lots of videos for review of stock auction as updates and custom ROM for OnePlus 9RT. You can check them from the playlist given under the video description. Two, three days before news were circulated regarding the official update for Oxygen 13.1 for OnePlus 9RT. But we didn't got this while stock OTA. I was using the Oxygen 13 F15 build on my phone. But on yesterday, I tried to check this update was stock OTA and we didn't got this update of new Oxygen 13.1. But when I checked the software update using the Oxonus updater application, there I got the incremental update of 1.7 GB size Oxonus 13.1 EX01 with the full change log. You will only get this OTA if you are on the Oxonus F15, so update your device to this version and then use the Oxonus updater application. You can also download the full OTA of 5.8 GB if you change the setting in Oxonus updater application. After download gets completed, you get this OT file under the root of file manager. Now go to the about phone, they tap 8 times on the build number, this will enable the developer setting. Now go to the OT section of the phone, they tap 3 dot menu, now locate your downloaded file, tap on it. System will verify the update and gives the details of new OTA, tap on extract and then tap install. Today in this video we will do thorough review of OTA, we will check all the new changes in the about phone. I did the performance and stability comparison of this update with the old F15. We will review all the details of the new change log which has amazing new things. So watch the video till the end, now without further ado, let's get started. After system update finalization, let's jump to the about phone. Now if you tap on the OTA section, it will show you we are upgraded to the latest version of Oxonus 13.1 EX01. In the about version, we get the complete change log of new update. We will review that later under the features timestamp of the video. This is the same Android 13 with the same metro clock register egg. Sadly, security patch is of April 2023. Last build was on March security patches. But you are at the end of the May month still we didn't got the latest security patches. Under the version section, build number is showing 13.1 EX01. Kernel version is upgraded to the 5.4.210. Last F15 was on 5.4.147. So big update has been done for the kernel version. New build has the new kernel, new security patches. Instead of this, lots of under root changes has been done in the new update. Now let's move to the next timestamp of the video that is you have been jitter test. We have given the link of this application under the video description. Less the jitter value, better will be the device scrolling, swiping and in app user interface activities. When you open the application, tap on the rendering option then tap on the jitter. So on this new build I didn't got the good result, it's constantly fluctuating like it rises directly above 3 milliseconds and goes down below 0 0.5. But in an average. This value will be 2 milliseconds, which is good but not best. I tried to use some applications simultaneously while running the application in background. And when I return to Jitter app, it's showing the same higher value above the 3-4 milliseconds. In real life also, I didn't found the scrolling smoothness as good as old build of F15. There you got the score of 1.5 to 2.5 milliseconds constantly. If you compare all the Oxygenus update, they didn't have scrolling smoothness like custom ROMs. Now let's do the Geekbench 6 test. Initial impression of ROM is good, apps opening, closing, switching between applications, RAM management seems very good. But if you tried the custom ROMs on OnePlus 9RT, you will not like this type of performance of stock ROM. On custom ROM, everything just flying like a jet. Oxonos 13.1 has the adaptive screen refresh rate means even if you select the high screen refresh rate, screen goes to the 60Hz when device is not in use. We didn't get any setting to force enable the 120Hz in the developer option or in the settings app of the device. But you can use force 120Hz mod, its video link is given under the video description. If you ran the Geekbench test without the performance mode, here I got the score of 1054 and 3192 for the single and multi-core respectively. 
for old f15 there we got the score of 717 and 3135 for the single core and multi core respectively next for open gel graphics api i got the score of 3716 and for hulkan we got the score of 5103 for old f15 these reels were 3682 and 4690 so for GPU graphics performance, new Oxonus 13.1 has better GPU performance as compared to the old build. Now let's enable the performance mode and we'll see if you guess any improvement in the results or not. After performance mode enabled, I got the score of 1298 and 3206 for the single and multi-core respectively. For old F15, we got the score of 1027 and 3163. Definitely with the performance mode new build has better score as compared to the old build. Similarly for the OpenGL and Hulkan graphics API we got the score of 3779 and 4609. For old A15 these results were 3686 and 5318. Here with the performance mode GPU performance for the new build has Orson as compared to the old build. But the CPU performance was found better for the both the performance and non-performance mode. Overall final conclusion can be drawn from this test, new update has definitely did some underwood improvement which is reflecting in the performance and in real life users experience. Now let's confirm the CPU stability using the CPU throttle application. I ran the test for the 5 minutes on the 20 threads. Don't run this test above mentioned values, it may harm your device. After 3 and half minutes some performance drop were started. After stopping the test, I got the score of 82% for old build, this score was 90%. Slight difference were found here for both the builds, but it's not a big difference, they are good. Overall, CPU performance during the heavy task seems stable for this new update. Now let's check out the new change log of new Oxonus 13.1. For health section, OnePlus has added some improvement for the talkback feature. This feature is mainly used by the blind people where each and every part of the screen were talked back by the assistant so blind people can easily understand what option they are using. But now this feature is improved and it will recognize and announce the images detail in the application and photos. New Zen mode has new deep Zen and the light Zen feature. Deep Zen means we can't able to change the setting of this Zen mode but for light Zen who gets the two modes like work mode and the study mode. In the work mode or study mode, you can change the different aspects like the Zen mode duration, its background and application allowed during the Zen mode. Next change we got is new simple mode has the new helper widget and quick tutorial on the home screen once it's enabled under the special feature option available in the main setting of the phone. Next very important addition of this new update is the new championship mode for gaming. If you open the game mode and there goes under the gear setting, you get the new championship mode. Here it gives the details what this feature blocks like it will disable the game touch panel, any kind of banner notification, calls, navigation gestures, virtual buttons, notification drawers and alarms. So in the simple word it's a heavy gaming mode which is disabling most of the things that interfere while playing the games. Next to improve the performance improvement this feature will improve the CPU performance to the next level increases the touch sampling rate for the better touch response, keeps the stable refresh rate of the games, it enhances the multi-touch of the display, blocks any kind of the background task can cleans the background applications, but there may be some disadvantages of this mode also like device may get heats up, it will cause heavy battery drain consumption. I am not gamer so I will just try this on my simple and most favorite game that is Temple Run. When you access the game mode using the left or the right corner swipe, in the game mode panel you get the championship mode tile, tap on it, it will enable this feature. Once enabled all the things like the navigation gestures, game mode panel, all the notification and calls will be get disabled. You get only one option to disable the championship mode using the left or the right swipe. Overall this new mode is giving more immersive gaming experience on your device. Next you get the new music playback control in the gaming mode panel. If you are listening any kind of songs in the background and playing games, you get the music playback control tile in the game mode panel. From there you can switch between different songs. Next feature OnePlus has added in the new update is the new seamless interconnection between previously connected phones, tablets, PCs and earphones, which are placed in the close proximity. But for this, your phone must be connected previously with the Bluetooth or NFC and this option must be active on your device. 
Next and the final feature improvement has been done for the OEMOJIS functionalities and library. Once you open this setting, we can see it will start to update the features and customization library for the OEMOJIS. So we get a bunch of the new customizations and features in the OEMOJIS. We can tune different settings of these new emojis and they can be applied on the lock screen or on the profile picture of different accounts. These are all the new features and additions of the new Oxonus 13.1 update for OnePlus 9RT. So we did the thorough review of all the features and the performance with the stability and I can say the new update is definitely did the underwood improvement that takes your device performance to the next level and gives the improved user experience. That's it for today guys. Hope you like my work. Then please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content for OnePlus 9RT. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.